Another popular request was Kobo Aura HD web browsing experience. What are we what are we going to do today? We're going to go start on Google, we're going to go to Wikipedia, search for an article, go back to Google, search for a website and then look at what kind of options we have for navigation purposes. So we're going to start with Google and this will be an uncut view so to show you that we're not altering it and making it into something that it is not. Because a lot of people say, hey, what if I buy this device and I do need to go on the internet and I do need to web browse, what is it going to be like? Well, this is what we're here to show you today. Already, I think I didn't even tap. There we go. Didn't even hit it. It is loading. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we're going to search Wikipedia for... Kobo. This does flicker just as much as the Kobo H2O, but I'll tell you that this takes a little bit longer to load than the Kobo H2O did. So here is Wikipedia. Doesn't have inertia or anything like that. So once you swipe and let go, it'll just kind of stop. So let's go back to Google. All right, got to X out of that first. Okay, and what we're gonna do is search, uh, are we even searching Google? Oops, it's Coco. Kobo, press enter. So we're going to reload that page because it didn't look like it searched. And we're going to go to Kobo eBooks and eReaders. So now that we're on the site, we're going to see what kind of options we have for navigating around. We may have pinch and zoom. I'm just not sure if it loaded quite yet. Looks like we do. So let's try this again. So we have navigation via fingertip. You can move things around. Let it load. All right. So we have no pinch and zoom capabilities in the browser. So all it is is just moving it around, but we do have a zoom bar. So you can zoom out all the way to fit to page or zoom in to get a closer look on everything. And if I'm not mistaken, we should have a double tap zoom available as well. So let's let things load and we'll go double tap. Yes, that indeed does a zoom in. So this is very similar to the experience on the Kobo H2O, the new one we have. And the double tap doesn't bring you back out. No, it doesn't. So we'll have to use the zoom bar to get out. We also have a couple options here. Keyboard, go home, favorites, add to favorites, set page as home page. So this is the web browsing experience on the Kobo Aura HD. If we have missed anything, if you want us to look at anything else, if you want us to say, hey, go to this page, can it do this, can it do that? Let us know, that's why we're here. We take requests, goodyreader.com. We really wanna thank all of our users here at youtube.com slash goodyreader who watch our content each and every day. We really appreciate it. A lot of familiar names pop up every day, especially in the comments section, and that's what we love, building a community to really talk about everything e-reader, tablets, digital publishing related. Uh, we have a lot of cool things going on right now. If you check up top over there, right about there, you're gonna see all of the Kobo H2O stuff, and I have it right here as well. This is an exclusive that Goody Reader has. We have an advanced copy, and we have been reviewing this and comparing this against pretty much everything we can think of. If you check right kind of this direction, you're gonna see the Sony DPTS-1. That is the Sony 13 inch uh, electronic device. Not really an e-reader, it reads only PDFs, but if you wanna check out all the coverage on that, 
that is definitely worth checking out. And over there, directly to my side, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 Nook. This is Barnes & Noble's next generation device. They contracted Samsung to build all the hardware, but it is the successor to the Nook HD. Ask me anything, I got a tablet around here, I bet. But anyways, thank you guys very much. We appreciate you guys watching all our stuff. Keep on watching goodyreader.com.